trying not to let y'all see me without my gloves on. Some of y'all be uh, getting on me about having my gloves. Where your gloves at? Where your gloves at? I got them. These people gonna think I'm talking to myself over here. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, well, y'all already see what I'm about to work with, so I'm gonna get back with you when I get back in the truck. What's going on, YouTube? How y'all doing? Hope y'all are well and driving safe, all that good stuff. I'm at work right now because where else would I be? Haven't uploaded a video in like a couple of weeks, so I wanted to make a quick, quick video while I'm waiting to uh, get in the door right here. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm in a space where I'm uninspired to make the trucking videos. I think I've expressed all I can express about trucking, but I'm gonna try to be creative and still pump out these videos for y'all. Somebody did leave a comment down in the comment section and he was saying that he's new to trucking and he got a bad trainer, someone who is disrespecting him and belittling him. So he wanted some advice. Me being a female, it may not be good advice for him. So if you are a guy, You've been through training with a bad trainer and um, you know you got some advice leave it down in the comment section for for the gentleman so maybe he can run across it and read it. Uh, not only for him others who may be experiencing the same thing uh, but if it was me and I'm training I don't have long on the truck with the trainer and um, I'm comprehending what's going on as far as I'm learning you know about the truck and, and everything that I need to learn or I feel like I am um, getting what I need then I'm gonna stay on the truck only if I don't have that long to deal with the guy or lady but um, you know if if it's like if he's disrespecting me I say he but I say he because the guy who left the message or left the comment down below he's talking about you know the the person who's training him is a guy but whoever the trainer is for me, male or female, if they're talking to me in a way where I can't focus on how to, uh, you know, get the information I need to, you know, get moving and get out of that truck and learn everything that I need to learn, then I'm gonna have to get another trainer. Because you gotta be focused, you gotta be able to um, be calm. You know, you don't need to be angry messing with an 18 wheeler. There's too much heavy machinery for anybody to be upset trying to, um, you know uh, maneuver this truck so and, and you want to learn you want to know what's going on with the truck so if you can't learn it get you another trainer yeah it may take a little longer but you'd rather have the information than not um, but like I said for me if it's not that long I stay with it tone them out and keep the conversation to a minimum almost none existed if it's not about business if it's personal we're not talking about any of that um, let me see but yeah I think it just depends on who you are as a person how much you can take things like that like I said I think it's harder for a man to be disrespected and to have somebody talk to them crazy uh, versus a female sometimes we can just you know let something go in one ear and out the other sometimes we don't even let it go in one ear we just trying to get you know to the target uh, same with some guys you know but I don't think my advice would be the best advice these days you know as for something like that go because uh, lately I don't care what you're talking about what we doing here like show me what I need to know and uh, if you're talking to me crazy I'm going to I'm going to uh, let you know that I don't like how you're talking to me and I'm gonna say it in a way that it's not going to be like competitive. I'm not going to. I already see that you're probably competitive. Don't know how to talk to people and things like that. So since I already know that, I'm gonna to come to you in a way, the best way that I know how. And if you're still talking to me crazy and I can't handle it, like this is for the people who can't handle it, just you know, ah, uh, then yeah, you might have to uh, get you another trainer. But. Yeah, me, I'm not stuck what you're talking about. What we doing? Show me what we doing. But, uh, I had a trainer 
when I was doing like a refresher course with Snyder, you know, once you get out of the truck for a long time and you go back out there, they send you out again to train. I guess it depends on which company you get with. For me, it was Snyder. And I was out, I think, like a week with the guy. This, this man, conversation was off the wall. I mean, he scared me a little bit, but he wasn't talking to me crazy. It was just, he was just talking crazy. <laughs> the man asked me, I remember, I remember. So the man asked me, what was going over a bridge? I'm talking about a whole bunch of water down. I think it was in Louisiana somewhere. I think, I don't know. But we was going over a bridge. A lot of water was down there. He was like, what would you do if it was a body just floating down there at the bottom? What kind of question is that? What kind of question is that to ask somebody you don't even know? What you thinking about? What's in your head, man? So he asked me that. I said, uh, I think he gave me some options. I think he said, you're going to call the police or you're going to keep going. I said, I'm going to call the police. You know, if it was, you know, Lord forbid. Yeah, but want somebody to call if it was me down there. Uh, so I'm going to call the police and let them know. He said, well, now nah, I'm going to keep going because... I'm not gonna, they're not gonna take up my time all day. Wow. Really? Really? Mm. There's some cold blooded people out here, though, y'all. Cold blooded people out here. It ain't me. I ain't gonna worry about it. I gotta keep working. No, I'm not gonna take time out of my day to make sure a mother uh, or a father or a wife or a husband or whoever. Uh, get closure in their life their entire life you know by letting these people know where they folks at you know not y'all know what I mean like discovering what you see and informing people so folks can have closure in a situation like that but now you gotta keep working that was just crazy to me absolutely ridiculous to even ask somebody that we got by a grave one time and he said something about the grave I can't really remember if but the guy had like a dark side, very, very dark. So when y'all getting out here with these trainers and they get to talking, talking crazy, man, keep your, keep your ears open now. I, ain't, I said tone them out. I mean tone them out as in don't be hearing that BS that they talking about and they talking you crazy or, or they get agitated, whatever. Feel how you feel, but show me what I need to know. But for that talk like that right there you know somebody who you may feel need to be in a loony bin somewhere you know you keep an eye out on them listen to what they saying all right uh you might just have to get out the truck <laughs> take your things and, and never return you know you go call somebody don't get back in that truck okay um there have been trainers that leave their students there have been um uh, so i've heard so i've heard I, I don't know anything about this you hear all kind of stories out here Sometimes you don't know what's real, what's fake. You, you don't know. Uh, but, it's a, and don't get me wrong, like, this is not a video just to be, like, one-sided. There are students that get in the truck that absolutely is disrespectful as well. And, uh, but we're not speaking on that. We're speaking on the trainers, bad trainers. So, if you're a trainer, don't feel like I'm beating up on you. I'm not. It was just, uh you know, situation came up in the comment section where the guy feeling like, you know, he can't really deal with somebody. And uh, it'd be like that in trucking. You're going to come across all type of people with so many different personalities on a day-to-day -day basis, especially, Lord, if you're local. You're going to deal with so many people. And uh, you, you just, you got to learn how to push this stuff to the side. These people have, like, personal problems. I think they have like personal problems they have to work on within themselves. Only thing I say to myself, when people be doing little stuff, I say that's their problem, not mine. And I go on about my day. Whatever problem that people I see try to put off on me, you, you're not going to get my attention like that. You're not going to disrupt me like that. So, because, because if you do, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone just depends on the situation now you know if you want to talk about it we can talk about it if you just need somebody to you know express your problems too you just don't have nobody else i'm here i'm a, hey i'm a stranger but i'll listen to you however if you are here and you just just got a bad attitude for no reason 
I've seen like just last week somebody went out their way just to uh, man don't hit my truck yeah I gotta I gotta move my truck I don't know what he got going on well no he got it he got it he got it I think he got it cutting it close buddy he came through Good driver. He's a good driver. He must have had a good trainer. Let me tell y'all something else. Along with the, the, the uh, along with the different personalities that y'all got to deal with, uh, it's gonna be people out here who don't respect your time. Like they just think we, uh, I don't know, tossing dice or something when we moving these trailers around, dropping and hooking and. You know, dealing with the heat, the heat alone will make somebody angry, you know. I, I've been dealing with it lately, you know. I've been staying hydrated, so they helped me out a lot. Me, like I said, I'm learning to deal with everything, y'all. I'm taking everything with a grain of salt. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I got to go. I got to get to work and get home. That's what I got to do. I'll see y'all later. Or I'll catch y'all in the next video.